Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to take a moment to remember some of the famous celebrities who've left us today. The world of entertainment has lost some remarkable talents, and their impact on our lives will always be remembered. Hayden Gwynn was an English actress best known for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Drop the Dead Donkey, The Windsors, and Billy Elliot, The Musical. She was nominated for the 1992 BAFTA TV Award for the comedy series. Drop the Dead Donkey, Gwyn is best recognized for her role as Queen Camilla in The Windsors, a British comedy series. If we talk about Gwyn's love life, she was dating her partner Jason Phipps. The couple have two sons together. Gwyn died on October 20th, 2023, at the age of 66 after a recent cancer diagnosis. Italian actress Marzia Ubaldi is best known for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as The Predators, Nazi Love Camp 27, and Subura, Blood on Rome. She began her career in theater in the early 1960s and made her film debut in 1962. Ubaldi died on October 21, 2023 at the age of 85. No cause of death has been revealed yet. Her death was a loss to the Italian entertainment industry. Yet Pete Ladd was an American baseball player best known for playing alongside teams like the Houston Astros, Milwaukee Brewers, and Seattle Mariners. He played as a relief pitcher in all part of six seasons in Major League Baseball, MLB, between 1979 and 1986. Pete died on 20th of October, 2023, he died of cancer at the age of 67. American actress Suzanne Somers is being remembered for her work in popular movies and TV shows such as Three's Company, Step by Step, and She's the Sheriff. She began her career as a model and actress in the late 1960s. She played Chrissy Snow on Three's Company in 1977. It was a huge success and Summers became a household name. Summers starred in several television shows and films after leaving Three's Company. She also wrote several books, including two autobiographies, four diet books, and a book of poetry. If we talk about Summers' love life, she was married to Alan Hamill, a Canadian-American producer and actor. They got married in 1977 and stayed together until her death in 2023. Summers died on October 15, 2023, at 76, after a battle with cancer. Summers was a popular figure in American culture for decades. She was a true Hollywood icon, and she will be deeply missed. British cartoonist Tony Husband is remembered for his work with magazines such as Private Eye, Round the Bend, and Hangar 17. His work has been published in magazines such as Playboy and The Spectator, as well as The Times, The Daily Mail, and The Sunday Express. Tony died on 18th of October, 2023. He died of a heart attack at the age of 73. American film editor Steven Weisberg is best known for his work on popular movies, such as Great Expectations, Men in Black 2, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Weisberg, is praised for his ability to work with directors to create a unified vision for their films. In addition to his work on films, Weisberg edited several television shows, including The Tick and Nurse Betty. He died of complications from Alzheimer's on October 16, 2023. Spanish actor Jesus Guzman is remembered for his work on popular movies such as Implacable 3, The Locket, and nothing less than a real man. Guzman has also had a successful career in television. He has appeared in a number of Spanish television series, including La Casa de Papel, Visa Vis, and La Peste. He died of natural causes on 16th October 2023 at the age of 97. He was 68. Osvaldo Desideri was an Oscar winner. Italian art director best known for his work on popular movies such as The Last Emperor, Once Upon a Time in America, and Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom Osvaldo, won an Academy Award for Best Art Direction for his work on the film The Last Emperor in 1988. It made him the first Italian art director to win an Academy Award. 
Osvaldo died on 18th of October, 2023. He died at the age of 84. No cause of death is revealed.